All right, Jeff, thanks. Kansas City is making changes to neighborhoods across the city. Traffic signals at dozens of intersections will come down, all in the name of safety. Amy Hall is live in Brookside to explain why. Amy? Well, there is a reason why you're going to notice that 37 intersections across town, both stop signs and blinking traffic signals. And the signals back there are blinking, warning drivers that the lights are about to be replaced with a sign. And the city insists signs really are safer than signals at these particular intersections, at least, because impatient drivers notice few people pass through and then run the red light. So it's not only about safety, but this move across the city, the city says it's a sign that people are making different choices in their lives here in Kansas City. If you stop here at 12th and Bennington, the east side, you may have noticed a population shift. The city says more and more people are leaving the east side urban core. We are seeing a shift in the urban core to other parts of the city. People in the urban core are giving the green light to the Northland. The city says between two and 5,000 people each year move north of the river. The Southwest Corridor and downtown are also growing. Uh, the downtown Crossroads area is, uh, is uh, growing, uh, uh, growing exceptionally. We We've doubled, we've quadrupled our population in the last decade down there. So what does this have to do with the removal of 37 traffic signals, almost all on the city's east side? It's a sign of the times. Fewer people at those stops means fewer people in those areas. Kelly Welch has noticed the change. We have a lot of vacant houses around us. The city says families are driving on to areas of town that can offer a safer life with better schools. One of the issues that we continue to deal with is the educational system and making sure that it's uh, stabilized because if we can uh, build strong neighborhoods, uh, the city's initiative to tear down dangerous buildings on the east side, we're trying to stabilize uh, the, east side, the near east side neighborhoods so that they can show that as a, um, our, a desire to reinvest in those areas. The city's way of trying to stop urban flight and bring people back to the neighborhood. It is also why the city recently invested in a $60 million police station on the east side and why the city recently had to redraw the city council boundaries. We looked at the map and the most significant declines in the last several years are along parts of Troost and along parts of Prospect. If you would like to see if your traffic signals and signs in your neighborhood are about to change, we've got the whole map, all 37 of them, on our website, KSHB.com. In Brookside, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.